Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be showing you the mods that I recommend for playing on our immersive mode server, The Path to Durnween. However, this is also going to be relevant if you like playing Valheim for the Valheim vibe and you want some more up-to-date utility mods. These are what I'm using today. In this video, I'll be showing you both the mods in action and talking a bit about why they're useful. We'll be covering the Better Networking mod, First Person mode, AAA Crafting, Fortify Skills Redux, Azu Crafty Boxes, Simple Chat, and Equipment and Quick Slots. I didn't mention Jotun, but Jotun is a framework for some of these other mods. It's a dependency. First, let's talk about First Person mode, because this one is quite simple. With this mod, boop, look at that, First Person, and not just forced first person, I can see my body. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this feels polished. I use it all the time and I love this mod. It's also really useful for getting screenshots and recording. I find that it has a good effect on gameplay. The next mod we'll be covering is Simple Chat by Nanoboat. Normally in Valheim, when you type, there's a say and a shout. This is a say. It appears above the character's head in white text and other people on the server can't hear you. But this is a shout. Everybody on the server can see it. If you want to talk to other people on the server, this is how you do it. In regular Valheim, the default is normal say. This switches it so that the default is to shout. That way, you can just talk with who is ever online just by pressing enter. You don't need to remember to type slash s or anything like that. You can just write your message. Next, we'll look at Azu Crafty Boxes. These mods are really fantastic because they make it so that you don't have to keep everything in your inventory all the time. Instead of being limited to what you can build out of your inventory, you're limited to what you can build out of what is nearby in a chest. As you can see here, I can build loads of stuff, but not everything. I can build all of this stuff simply because it's stored in a chest nearby. And what this means, honestly, is you're, you're just gonna build more. Th that's it. So, so okay, if you don't want to build and you want to spend all day looking through item management and UI, then don't use this mod. But if you want to build and have fun, use this mod. It's great. Hmm. I figure since you're watching the videos I make, well, I have a server that people can play on for free. If you want to learn more about the server and how it works, then you can check out the video I made titled Join our Immersive Mode Ashland Server. The next mod we'll discuss is Equipment and Quick Slots. I use the one by Randy Knapp, although there's other ones that work similarly. The basic premise is the same. Instead of taking an item slot up in your inventory, your equipment has its own separate area. And additionally, you get three special slots. These are hotkeys that you can alter if you want to. But something that's so special about these quick slots, when you play with the casual world modifier for the death penalty, you get to keep your equipment. And what's really awesome about that is you can put food in these equipment slots, and it makes the dying experience so much more manageable, because you'll come back to life with some of your equipment that you had equipped, and also some food, so that you don't just leave all the, your piles of food on your body all the time, because come on, we've all been there. Overall, I think it's a fantastic mod, and I encourage you to check it out. Next on the list, we have AAA Crafting, another Azimat mod. Azimat has loads of mods. This mod makes it so that instead of having to click once every time you want to craft something, you can type in a quantity here. Let's say I want to make 10 of these. I can now click craft and then I can, you know, stretch a little bit or do something like a proper human while the cooking is done. Instead of having to tediously over and over just deal with this. Oh, uh oh. Looks like Looks like we have a problem. Uh, the next mod we'll be talking about is a silent mod, Better Networking. Better Networking is a really cool mod because all it does is just make Valheim less laggy in multiplayer. Have you ever logged into a server? It takes a couple seconds for all the build objects or the ships or the carts to show up. 
Well, that's one of those issues that this mod will pretty much get rid of immediately. You'll log in and set it up properly, and everything will just be there basically as soon as you log in. It makes that stuff load much faster. The mod helps multiplayer be more reasonable and less laggy. I wouldn't say it's required, but it's definitely useful. The final mod I'll discuss is Fortify Skills Redux. You know, I know that I always talk about like no map, no portal, hard mode, hard combat, that kind of thing, but believe it or not, I don't just try and make the game hard. And for any of you playing on the server, I think it's fine if you change how the skill system in Valheim works. From my perspective, the skill system in Valheim is pretty broken. It doesn't serve a solid purpose, and you can just eliminate it entirely from the game, and it doesn't really change the game that much. The main reason people like the skill system is because you start out so weak and slow that in the beginning there's a benefit from getting your skills higher. But then, after that, it just serves as an artificial purpose to punish the player for dying. And I personally don't think that that really works, because I die a lot, and I find that part of that is, like, fun. So I just don't- I don't fundamentally agree with having to avoid dying all the time. I don't think that the game is better if you never die, if that makes sense. And that's why I make this world so challenging combat-wise. I put all the odds against the players in certain ways, so that we can customize the experience more to our liking, and I personally don't have to worry that much about that really screwing up the balance for other players, because this world is hard to stay alive in, even if you're making it easier. And Fortify Skills Redux allows you to take control of how the skill system works. I know, I know, I'm not hardcore or anything like that. That's fine. This is how I play, and I can love it. I'm not going to stop dying, but it is a pain to have my skills always be at 10 or 15 because of my dying habit. Have you ever heard of positive reinforcement versus negative reinforcement? Well, basically, from a game development perspective, Iron Gate is using negative reinforcement. They're punishing the player by taking something away from them when they die. So the main thing that this mod does is it alters that system. As you level up and experience things without dying, you'll get an experience modifier that increases the rate at which you level up. And this can build and build and build and make you get more and more levels faster and faster. But then when you die, it resets to nothing. So you have to restart that over again. But you're not actually going to lose your progress. You're not going to lose your skills. And I find this to be a much more effective system, especially if you're interested in immersion. If you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server using my link, JP Valheim, at Zap Hosting. This is a great way to really capture the Valheim experience and customize it to be the one that you dream about. Something that's so cool about this masterpiece that Iron Gate has developed is that they have given us a lot of control over how the game actually functions. And for that, I really commend them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.